Our protagonist has a pair of lungs. We can really keep going. Alright. Let's see how close we get. So like I thought, we are missing four. Two on the bottom, two up top. The diagram's pretty finished at this point. I keep calling everything a diagram. Uh, so yeah, we need four more. Which means there's two I don't know where to find, and two I don't know how to solve. Or at least I don't, I don't know for sure yet. I guess two of them are in those two puzzles I found. I don't think there's any other puzzles I've missed. Or... I don't think- I don't- I don't think there's two- any more puzzles that I've, like, found and not solved. I think it's just the- the one that I think is the sun one, and the one that I think is the moon one. I kinda do wanna poke around directions like this real quick now. Now that we know that I still haven't found them all. Cause we've- we've verified that they can just be in a random cave. Oh, that rock is not supposed to look like that. Nope. Can't go that way. I need to find a place that lets me out of the water. There's a familiar falls. I am curious, is there a cave under the falls? No. No, it doesn't look- doesn't look like it. A secret cave under the falls is such a fantasy trope of, like, a hidden place. But it feels like it'd be- like, for me it feels like it's kind of an unlikely place for a cave to be. Just because you feel like the opening would erode and get- and collapse before too long. I'm not really basing that on much information, though. I'm just kind of extrapolating and guessing. I haven't exactly studied caves in that exact context before. Let's try nighttime. Seems about right. Moon's up. Why does this part exist, besides to drain all my power, because I keep using it all here? In fact, I'm really wasting it, aren't I? But, like, what does it do? It makes these guys show up. Which might be a puzzle? If anything, I'd guess these are maybe a protective ward against the, uh, the monster. Because I show up here when he attacks me. As if it's the only place that's safe from him. I didn't really check very well, but I think I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> for what I was hoping for. Looking for that moon puzzle. Oh, well, that's the waterfall. There's the moon puzzle. I see I see the rocks. How about we give this another go? Um... What are the mechanics here? 
It seems to always drop in the same spot no matter where I click. And it just rolls. And then it goes on a vacation. And I don't think it's drawn anywhere. No, it just it's just it's just rolling. This is so weird. What is this? Is the moon not in the right position? Because it's not really... I don't see the moon anywhere, so maybe it's in the wrong spot? Where is the moon right now? Way over there. Wow, it's way lower than I thought it was. I guess it took too long. Maybe it has to be perfectly overhead. I might need to try again at a different time of day. Here we go. Now we actually have, like, moonbeams exposed. There we go. It's like a Pokeball. Look at that. Gotcha. That's that done. So now let's test my other theory and skip to the middle of the day and see if the sun- the- what looks like sunlight pillars work. Cause I'm kind of running out of ideas in that one. The feedback is kinda- feels lacking for that. Well today I learned it can rain in this game. Look at this. Not a bad effect either. A little the part that's on my screen is a little distracting. It's like the full screen filter and when I rotate around I can kinda see it rotate with me as like a- the weird way that it renders. And also, I think the main thing is that when I walk, I can see that the droplets are following me in midair perfectly. So you can tell that it's not an environmental render, but it's a screen filter. Which is how rain's often done, especially in indie games. But the puddles look nice. The puddles look nice. Oh god. Ow. Didn't mean to do that. Trying to find my way back to the sun pillars, but also... Didn't actually look that carefully about where I was planning on going. I'm like, I'll find it in a moment, right? I'm wondering if this might hurt things, though, that it's suddenly raining, which I didn't even know was an option. Because that'll affect the light, because I was hoping for sunlight to be the solution somehow. It might not be. Ah, gee, ah, ah. Ah. Huh. Okay. That startled me to have it suddenly react to me all of a sudden. Wow, so yeah, it gives you zero feedback of being right or wrong until the very last one is correct. Huh. So maybe I just had one of them slightly rotated wrong somewhere or made a mistake somewhere and didn't catch it. I just I really just went back and started resolving it kind of over and over again. And then it and then it worked. Click. Problem. I'm still short two. Uh, they might be in the they might be in the fish area, they might be. I'm gonna do some more looks around though, just to see if I can find any details I haven't explored before. The structures around here strike me as stuff that I've never really been on top of. I'm wondering if there's things waiting for me. That seems intentional. Oh, there's even a plant over there. There we go. One more. So I have one remaining in the game now. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of clues about how to solve that puzzle. At first I thought it was like the intention might have been to be a clue for the player on how to solve the puzzle, but now I'm thinking it's just like... The aqueduct was just such like an ever-spanning plan that everyone had to deal with, that like they put them- that everyone was working on it together. That said, the same plans are at the- are- like, this office situation, where, where there's, like, two people sitting at tables and then plans for the aqueduct and stuff like that. That has happened so many times now, it's actually starting to get weird how many separate people have plans and they're just sitting up in an office somewhere, as opposed to being even- as opposed to, like, being at the actual location. It's, like, slightly strange to me. Alright, where can I find the last one? I mean, now that I've found all of them except for one of them, I'm kind of convinced that they actually all are around here. Hello. 
There's some glowiness over- Oh, there's a chest. Up, oh, tree get out of my way. There's a chest, and it's right by the window. The window's like right up there. The rain's going overboard right now. Okay. Are you telling me I can't just jump this? There we go. Oop. I'm fine. Everything's fine. There we go. That's the last one. Probably can't jump back up. It's fine. Oh. Alright, the river cuts out right here with the waterfall, so I'm fine there too. I'm free, I'm free! So if my count is correct, I should have the exact number of, uh... ...of the, the shards of glass to finish the entire window. When I first saw it, I didn't think that I'd even bother because I was like, oh, collectibles, that's fine. But then I realized the collectibles were like... Like, half of them were hidden behind puzzles, so I'm like, oh, okay, now, now I'm game. There's still a lot of dead behind here, too. Ah! That was startling. I was still looking around. The Vial of Oath Mikhail is the achievement I got. Let's test it. Let's test my theory. Is it infinite? It appears to be infinite. So I went from a orange vial to a blue vial. I, yeah, pretty much my first guess when I saw it. I'm like, oh, a different colored vial that you unlock via collectibles. I figured it'd be like an infinite source. So now we don't have to we don't have to collect any more energy. This thing's just infinite and it takes care of all of our problems. I guess we'll go check up check out Fishland now. I'm glad I specifically chose to go through the tree door and back into the open world instead of to the fish area. Huh. Yeah, they threw us out into the open world. But I almost immediately found every single actual major puzzle. Uh... When we were on our way to basically get... And, like, the... the I feel like during the prologue we were waiting for, like, the open area puzzle solving stuff to start and then uh, the moment almost the moment I got into the open world I immediately solved the mandatory stuff and was when was about to get thrown back into this area where you kind of this is the fish door right yeah or I think it's gonna be back to being relatively linear again so I, I almost I almost like just like uh, railroaded right past the entire open world just by happenstance of discovering the the mandatory stuff first because I found the underground mine area, and I found the aqueduct, and I think those are like the key spots, if I remember correctly. All right, fishy, fishy. Wow. It actually straight up warns you, this is the point of no return. If you proceed, you will not be able to go back to the valley. Well, thankfully, I'm prepared, because I kind of guessed that outright without knowing that that was going to happen. Huh. This game has an odd structure. Like, it, it took about an hour of poking around to even reach the open world area for the first time. And then you can kind of accidentally be done with the open world area in like an hour and a half. And then it throws you back into linear stuff again. It actually, like, I think my comparison to, uh... I think my, I think my comparison to Final Fantasy XV's weird structure and how it treats its, its, its uh, open world versus its story was actually surprisingly apt. Alright, let's make a manual save in, in the post-open world area. I've got my blue vial. Alright. Whoa. There's not a level over there. Okay, so now we should be right here. 
So I take it we're gonna go hop in that boat and then go through these and end up down there. I don't have to worry about collectibles anymore, and I don't have to worry about power sources, so don't have to worry too much about missing anything during the, the boat section like I was concerned about last time. I never did get a chance to go back and hop out of the boat in that one cliff I wanted to try, but I guess I got all the shards, so I know I'm not I know I wasn't missing something. Like I was afraid I was. Okay, why would you make one piece there? Did it am I Maybe it all collapsed perfectly? Weird. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, with the hope being that we're out of the area where that guy tries to break my game all the time. Let's run with the assumption that the game will work now and go back to high graphics. Hooray. Boom. Get them, get them graphics up. Now the motion blur, though. You can keep the mo you can keep your motion blur. Not a fan. Ah. Oh. Sure, we're fine. Ah! Whoa, what was that? That was weird. What was that? Oh my god. Are you okay? Um, I'm gonna take my headphones off real quick. No, I took my headphones off real quick to listen to my graphics card, to, like to sound to hear if my computer was overheating or getting loud. Oh my god. Um. Okay. Never mind. I'm. I apologize. We're gonna go back to medium now. Whoa. When did those get lower? I thought they were higher before. You know, it's probably for the best, honestly. Whew. We all better now? We all better now? I think we're all better now. That was... oddly horrifying. You guys die in the most peculiar places, you know that? Time to remember the control button. Whoop. Ow, that hit me. They made sure to make, like, two spots where you have to hit control to justify the work they put into making that mechanic exist. There we go. Ah, the feeling of infinite power. <laughs> Don't even have to worry about these random vials lying around. I can just leave them. For people that need those things, even though there's like... Presumably no one left? Oh, whoa, they were like flashing in and out. Oh! They like dropped me down. Huh. I'm not sure what's going on with the visuals, visuals in this game. Things are like flickering in and out. I've noticed that when I'm walking around, the screen will go black for a moment, and then stop being black, and then go black. Like... I don't know. I'm all updated as far as I can tell. And I have, an, I have a 1070. So, like, I'm... 1070, i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I don't think the problems are on my end. I think this game's supposed to be using the Crisis Engine, or the Cry Engine, I mean. What are we hoping for? To destroy the bridge? That wasn't very nice. 
<laughs> that wasn't very nice at all. I think we did that just so we could... Yeah, I think we're destroying the bridge just so we can go past it a little bit. Where does that put us on the map? Oh, I can't check here. There we go. Ah, there we go. So that puts us right here by this bridge, which no longer is a bridge. There's the caves we went through. So now we're just going to loop back around to a big cave, a big uh, lake. I think we're clear. Yep. The moonbeams look great. They always do. I wonder if that's scripted or not. I did go through a point of no return, return gate, so I don't know if the time of day changed to fit that automatically. Oh, monster's coming. You can see the red light over there. Oh, he's got... Oh, he's got a... There's kind of a squiggle. I'm not, I'm not sure if it was just a squiggle, but I think that was a scythe. I think he actually legit has a scythe. No surprise crocodiles, please. Let's get safely from point A to point B without having like a, a Lake Placid incident. It's not a good sound. You're not really taking my advice on the not, let's not like blasted it right now. As far as I can tell. What was that sound? I don't want to. I don't want to turn around and look. I'm just pursuing the one light source and hoping things work out. God. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know how he fell out like that. Whoops. I am a good boatsman. All right. Who's keeping these fires? So we're now down here, I hope. On the long, yeah, this is the long dock. So in the northern direction, there's supposed to be a pyramid or a, or a tent. Oh, is he going to be attacking me around here? We're getting black and white. There might be like a Slender Man going on. I have to get the four things while avoiding getting killed. Weird noises. Actually, a really long shoreline. Does this go all the way around? Is this like a... I might be totally off base here. It does cut off. I think. Okay, let's not go for a swim. I think I actually managed to cover some, like, serious ground. Is 
with the environmental aesthetic, you can definitely get a sense of, like, why the developer would draw a comparison to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Which is something they try to do. Okay, well, this is... uncomfortable. I think that, yeah, there's the pyramid that's on the map. On. There we go. All cleaned up. Is that related to my goal? Is what is what I'm wondering. Those are just plants. This is where the locals would actually live. Oh, it was just... Just some energy. That might be important. That blue area. Uh oh. The insides of these houses are a labyrinth. Am I safe here? Oh. Probably not safe anymore. <laughs> if that... If that does protect me from him, then I'm probably... Making him not safe by touching it. Okay, so that's my goal then, is to put out... Or blue torches. I wonder if their blueness is in any way related to the blueness of my... ...of my item. Mine's blue now. Hello, floating bottle. The heck? It seems like a reasonable guess that... My thing might be blue for related reasons to why this, these fires are mysteriously blue. I think there's the same structures. Oh, there we go. I think I found the other three. There's one. That might not be one of them. It doesn't look the same. It might just be like the final spot. Okay, this is odd looking. I'll get back to you in a moment. I want to see if I can finish this. I saw one in the one more in the distance, and I might be able to find the other one too. Yep. <laughs> saw the red light. Going the other way. Where was that other blue light I saw? Yeah, that seems to show that the stuff that stuff's warding away the the darkness. And now we're back at the original coastline. I feel like it was in this direction. I saw blue. Then I walked towards the other one. There's one. Oh yeah, look at him. He's absolutely the uh, the doctor dude. You can see the plague doc. You can see his plague doctor mask. Uh oh, rut row, rut row, rut row. Getting loud. Getting loud. Am I safe now? 
Aha. Safety in blueness. 